would have uh, sparked my interest for Shia anyway. So um, I think since I be because I became practicing, it was only it was only possible for me to become Shia because it was so it was the only way I could see myself practice Islam. Uh, I feel I, I feel that I have more contact with God. I feel that I um, sort of know God in a better way because uh, I understand uh, <clears throat> understand more of the of how of the mercy that God gave humanity uh, through Islam. I, I understand understand more of that part uh, now that I know uh, of of Islam through Shia and um, and as a Shia I've become a part of this community which has you know given me a lot of happiness in my life I've met a lot of friends all of my friends are from this uh, mosque uh, my husband I would never have met my husband and um, so I think my life is very much, very much, uh, it's been very much affected by the fact that I'm now, now Shia because of all of my friends and my husband and my, my married life, marriage life, and how I see myself, how I see the world, uh, how I see Islam as a religion, and my relationship with, uh, with God, with the Prophet. Uh, so all of these things, um, would not have been the same without the fact that I'm now Shia. So I've, I've got a better relationship with my parents. I know it's really important. I mean, Islam taught me that it's really important to have a good relationship with your parents. And I've learned to respect them more. And they're, they're, not, they're not yet ever that I'm Shia. It's, I, think, I think they, if they were to know, I think they had to gradually understand it because I think it would be a big shock if I just one day came and told them that I'm a Shia. Um, maybe I could, I think because my mother is a Norwegian convert herself, I think it would be easier for her to understand because she's already been through the uh, process of changing her religion. So she's more open-minded when it comes to uh, changing her belief. But uh, my father is really, he's, uh, he really holds on his family tradition, which for him is Sunni. And I think, honestly, it would have been a problem for him even if I went from another, uh, if I went from Hanafi to Malaki, for example. It, that would have been a problem for him as well, because from him, for him, his family traditions is the Hanafi school of thought, and he wants me to stay within that. So, um, and even though I maybe could have talked to him and made him understand that this is what I wanted to do. Um, unfortunately, my family in Bangladesh are now gradually becoming more Wahhabi, which I know they really would not accept the fact that I'm a Shia. I think it would have been a really family issue. So I think it's more of the fact that my family in Bangladesh are, I think that's the part that keeps me from um, letting them know that I'm Shia, because I know that there will be this whole family issue. <laughs> um, inshallah, in the future, I would, I would really like to work for this mosque. I would like to do something working here, maybe as a con I mean, helping the youth, maybe. Um, I know my husband as well, he really wants to, he wants to study in Hausa and work here eventually when he's older and has more knowledge. So we both really want to want to stay here and help this mosque. I mean, we've been a part of building this mosque, so we really want to see it uh, continue in the future and being even better than what it is today. Mm -hmm.